Hey, oh, it's Omnidog from Omnidog's Vault here with another overview for you Star Wars Dr. Afra Omnibus Volume 2. And as always, please go to Organic Price Books for your collected edition needs. Use code Omnidog, $2 off your order. Ooh, big savings here. I've used my own code. You better believe it. 5% off shipping three or more books together with code Omnidog. Ship it together. Okay, so let's take a look. I loved Volume 1, and I loved the introduction of Dr. Afra uh, in uh, Jason Aaron's Vader, Darth Vader. She's such a great character. I have not read this, but I sure loved volume one of the Omnibus, sorry, of the series. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Haven't read it, but uh, we'll take a quick overview of it. First thing you'll notice, here's the spine, is it's a little thin, but reasonably priced at $75. That's pretty cool. So let's take a look at what we've got underneath the dust jacket for Dr. Afra. Oh, that's cool. I haven't even seen this. This is a really cool under, under the dust jacket look. I like it a lot. So let's see what we've got here. Collecting Star Wars, Dr. Aphra, 1 through 25 by Alyssa Wong. Pretty simple. Let's take, and let's take a look. I did relax the spine. Let's take a look at what the binding looks like. Go to the middle here. Looks fine. What's the gutter loss like? Uh, it's not too bad. What is that? Planet of the Apes already? What's happening here? I've already got questions. Okay, so it's a little tight towards the middle for gutter loss, but not too bad. Let's see what it's like in the beginning. Mm, this doesn't seem bad at all. Yeah, there's separation of panels. I think this is fine, in my humble opinion. It is a little, it's a little tight. I might need to relax it again. So, let's see. Alyssa Wong. A variety of artists. It's kind of hard for you guys to read. It's in the manner of Star Wars. Um... And it's 1 through 25, so you don't really need much of a table of contents. I mean, this is the table of contents. It gives the artists 1 through 5, 6, 10, 7 through 9, Minkyu Young, 14, 16 through 25, Minkyu Young again. So we'll see. Um, this gives... Do we have page numbers here? I guess it probably... You really already know what's going on. So no page numbers. Well, that's cool. I don't think you really need them. So here we go. I have no idea what we're going to see. Relaxing the spine, though, I saw some really cool stuff. Okay, let's just cheat a little bit because I saw some really cool stuff at the very end where she was dealing with some kind of technology. Let's see where it is that was, yeah. Some kind of technology that was bringing her memory back or something. Some kind of technology is happening here that looks like Darker Dr. Afra. Okay, this looks awesome. Something's going on with her memories. I know I skipped, but I just, this looks really incredible. Let's 
Something's going on with her memories. Hmm. Okay, we'll we'll do the more normal thing and start at the, at the beginning. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it is a little tight here. So I'll give it another relax, but I don't know that that's going to do much. Got a large cast of characters. What was the description here? Afra's back to do what she does best, hunting the score of a lifetime. But will the rings of Val offer eternal life and boundless fortune? Or will they only spell Doom. The ruthless Ronin Tag, heir to the powerful Tag Dynasty, also has his eye on the cursed prize and will stop at nothing to secure it. Afra may have a skilled crew right behind her, but that just means more people who can stab her in the back. As the galaxy once again becomes a dangerous place, will Afra be more at risk from new enemies or old friends? Well, there you go. Okay, I'm I'm excited to read this, but I realize I'm going to have to probably read the first Dr. Afra because I read it so long ago. And then, of course, to do that, I'm probably going to want to read Darth Vader because that was so awesome, too. But now I'm just putting up my own roadblocks. Mm, I like, I love the creativity of the creatures already. And you never know who's the good guy or the bad guy or if anybody's even a good guy. How do you even judge that? I just want an exciting comic and this looks like it. Beautiful colors. I've already cheated, and we've seen a good chunk of the back half already. Oh, that is a cool cover. I wonder if I do need to read the first Omni again. I kind of just want to read this right away. This looks really good. So we've already seen this part, which looks really boss. <laughs> so let's see what we've got for extras. Don't want to. Okay, we've got a cover gallery. Don't want to see. Mm hmm. And really, for, for extras like this, oh, that's a cool cover. Jen Bartell, nice. Um, Terry Dodson? Yeah. 
Nice. Uh, for a book like this, I think Jenny Frisson, I think covers are really all I really need. Because they put out so many variant covers. Just to show them all is really cool. Oh, that's cool. David Nakayama. Like that. Okay, so we do have. Is this a black? What is this? <laughs> they make it so hard to read. I can't see this. Page 20, art by Ming Q. Young. <laughs> wow. That's not really trying very hard. We've got like. <laughs> two pages hmm okay well i'll be happy with the with the covers but there it is dr afra volume two for 75 dollars looks to be like a pretty good deal to me i uh i'm interested in reading this so peace and love peace and love please follow me on um YouTube, of course, Omnidogs Vault on Instagram, Omnidogs underscore Vault. I have a Discord server now that is manned by several great people, and we have a lot of good conversations in there. And uh, someday I'll do reels or shorts or something. I don't know. I'll just keep doing these because people seem to like them. So peace and love, peace and love, but good to each other out there. Play nice. Take care. Love you guys.